Tracy, I found some frustration from voters today who watched this debate and were looking for something different five weeks out from Election Day. In some cases, they were looking from a different kind of performance from their own candidate. In one case, a voter told me, hey, he wanted to understand the differences in their health care plans. But I also found that even in debates like this, they can push voters one way or the other. So every minute on that stage counts. The New question Supreme is, Court justice, the radical question, left, will you who shut is your, up, man? Listen, who is the first your, presidential debate between President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden making an impression on voters, though not a good one. I felt like I was with my grandchildren, who I have many of. Yeah, I think they both did a pretty crappy job, to be quite honest. The debate didn't change Michelle Carr's vote. She thinks President Trump is better for the country, but she does have some advice. As a supporter of President Trump, I feel like he needs to kind of zip it sometimes, and um, I wish he'd get that message across. Candidates slinging insults and talking over each other and the moderator in the 90-minute debate. I was expecting that it would be ugly. Nicole Crawford is supporting Joe Biden. I think Joe Biden did really good, but I think uh, it was a, a real low point. For, for the country. I think. No, 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 no that we're, done, we're done, sir. Though it could be hard to slog through the yelling to get to the substance, the debate five weeks out did change things for Michaela Madison, a progressive from West Philly who's been struggling with whether to vote for Biden or no one for president. When we talked Monday, she told me... Biden, career-wise, has never st stood anywhere near what I actually value. Um, he's actually been actively harmful in a lot of ways. Trump is definitely more harmful, and I see that. And now... I will be very reluctantly voting for Biden. Why did you make that decision? Though Biden still stands for... still isn't who I want, he's not actively making things closer to a totalitarian rule, nor is Biden actively telling white supremacists to just hold on and wait. <laughs> a decision for one voter with two more presidential debates to go. We're going to delve deeper into that moment where President Trump was asked about white supremacist groups in our five o'clock hour. Now, Michaela told me that she watched the debate with a group of friends and seeing their reactions helped her to make a decision. She also said she is concerned about a close election and whether things could end up in court. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News. All right, Lauren.